Eileen from SingaporeOLevelNext.com In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to find the R formula This particular section is found in additional mathematics And let us take a look at an example on the board Now this is the equation that I'll be using that you see over here P is equal to 16 sine theta plus 30 cosine theta The question specifically wants us to find R sine bracket theta plus alpha So this is the R formula and in R formula, there are two things that you need to find First, R And the second, alpha Now there's one more thing that I think all of you must pay attention to That is, if the question asks for R sign It is your duty to make sure that the sign term comes first This is extremely important So right now, I'm going to start my working And in this uh, particular question I'll be using addition formula to develop the entire formula So let's take a look So right now, I'm applying my addition formula And addition formula is something that you can find in your formula sheet Alright, so application of addition formula, done So I'm going to just go copy down the um, right hand side Now what I'm going to do next is to expand So I'm going to just bring in my R So you see the terms on the left hand side You see the terms on the right hand side We're going to be doing the next step which is to compare the coefficient How do we go about comparing it? Now, notice something This is your sine theta You have a sine theta over here The coefficient of your sine is 16 And if you look back here, what's remaining? Your R cosine alpha So what does it mean? It means that you can form your first equation R cosine alpha is equal to 16 Equation number 1 Let's repeat the same procedure again, this time around We go into the next term, which is cosine theta over here You have a cosine theta over here, coefficient 30 And on the left hand side We are left with R sine alpha So that will be your second equation R sine alpha is equal to 30 Two unknown, two equations We can solve simultaneously So what we're going to do next is I'm going to be taking equation 2 divided by equation 1 Which will give us R sine alpha over R cosine alpha equals to 30 over 16 So then you can cancel off your R Cancel, cancel Tangent alpha over cosine alpha That will give us Tangent alpha, which is equal to 30 over 16 Now with this, because the condition of alpha is to be in degrees You set your calculator to degree mode Before you find out what is alpha By taking tangent inverse 30 over 16 And you get your answer as 61.9 degrees So that is how we go about finding alpha Next we're going to be finding what is R So I'm going to be shifting to this side of the board Now, to find R, what you need to do is It is a strategy that you need to be aware of Alright, so what we're going to do is We're going to go ahead and square our equation 1 Which will give us R square Cosine square alpha Is equals to 16 square Alright, we can see this as equation number 3 If you like it and then equation number 2, go ahead and square it as well That will give us R square sine square alpha equals to 30 square This is equation number 4 What we're going to do is, we're going to add up both the equation Which will give us R square cosine square alpha plus R square sine square alpha equals to 16 square plus 30 square now notice we have a common term which is R square Factorize it out What's left? Cosine square alpha plus sine square alpha 
is equals to 16 square plus 30 square and notice this this is actually an identity formula which gives us the value of 1 so which means to say on the left hand side r square is equals to 16 square plus 30 square therefore to find r we take square root which will give us the value of 34 Alright now, on this part here, whenever we take square root, there are two answers, plus minus, but there's a condition for r, r is definitely going to be more than zero. So this is how we found out the two unknown in your r formula, your alpha and your r. Right, so um, in summary, I'll let just share with all of you, in general, um, some, some of you might not be using this entire approach of addition formula, uh, there are two formulas that you can work on. Alpha is equals to tangent inverse B over A. And to find your R, it is equals to square root A square plus B square. And where does your A's and B's come from? A's and B's is in fact the coefficient of your trigonometry function. Like over here, this is my A. And over here, this is my A. So that is the summary of this entire video on our formula. I hope you find it useful. If you like it, subscribe and share with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.